We're in Microsoft Word 2013. I'm going to show you how to add a custom menu item into the ribbon at the top of the page. So what we want to do is uh, look at all these different menu items and we'd like to add a custom one because it may not have in these standard ones the commands that are the shortcuts that we like. So just right click, right click anywhere in the ribbon and then choose customize the ribbon and from here we're going to go ahead and click on new tab. So the new tab is going to, we can go ahead and uh, rename that tab and we're going to call it custom or whatever you would like. Now under the custom group we can go ahead and highlight different things and click add and then whenever we have all the different ones that we like and we're done we can just go ahead and click OK. Now along the top we see our new custom tab along with the various different uh, items that we clicked on. If we want to further customize that, we can just go ahead and click on customize the ribbon again and we can go back to our custom and instead of just a new tab, we can choose new group inside the tab. Now you can see that we only have one grouping in this so we'll go ahead and click on new group and we'll call the second group We'll call it second. And if we want, we can also click on a little picture that goes with it. And we'll click OK. And the second group, of course, is empty because we haven't added anything in there. So we'll go back to that, click on second, and we'll choose some more items. Alright, so now we'll click OK and we should see our second group, and there is our second group. If we decide we don't want something in that group, we can go back to it, and we can highlight it, and then we can right-click on it, and we can choose Remove. We can also change the order by right-clicking and choosing Move Down or Move Up. So that is customizing, creating a custom tab and groups in Microsoft Word 2013.